ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm going to show you something pretty cool today. Look, I didn't invent any of this stuff. I just take what I do know and I try to expand things a little bit. Now there's a thing called a pressure washer broom. It's a little unit, it's about, I don't know, 14 inches long. It's got four nozzles in it. That's a great way to basically clean the undercarriage of your vehicle. I'm gonna show you the best way to execute using this thing right now. So yesterday, after we got done with the boat, uh, I haven't taken it to the storage facility yet. Uh, I cleaned the undercarriage really well of, of the van. So I could do this demonstration today and not have a crazy lengthy video. So what I'm showing you now is what I am recommending as far as the parts to get the job done. You need a pressure washer with a soap uh, reservoir where you can fill it with the soap and like I said, in my lineups at DetailJuice.com, this is going to be your best option to put in that soap reservoir. Uh, it's going to clean and degrease really, really, really well under there without you having to get under there and scrub. So if I were going to be spraying the soap, I would use that pressure washer. But because I've already got everything set up, I just shot a video on how to shorten your uh, cord on your pressure washer. Uh, and so this is already set up with the shorter cord. Check out that video if you wanna see that. It's not complicated. Notice it looks like it came from the factory. But anyway, this is live and working currently, but this is the pressure washer broom that I've been talking about. Um, it also, ha and it doesn't come with this extension on it. This actually, this is how the pressure washer broom comes. It's got a quarter inch, um, connector there, a male connector. It's got wheels, caster wheels on it. It's got four nozzles. So I bought this extension so that I didn't have to get all the way underneath the vehicle. In fact, I don't get underneath the vehicles at all. And uh, I undercoat my van because uh, we use the boat a lot. Uh, it's you know, obviously the boat's hooked up now. So we use the boat a lot. I dip the back end of the van in the water uh, and that's my saltwater boat. Uh, I have other boats for fresh washer, wa fresh water, but that's my saltwater boat. So as far as this situation goes, when I back into the water, the whole, uh, some ramps, depending on what ramps, uh, some of the ramps I can get all the way in the water and almost have that back end all the way submerged. So my spare tire under there, the rear suspension, uh, the uh, rear end, the wheels, the brakes, all that stuff a lot of times goes underwater. The trailer hitch, all the connections. So I like to undercoat, undercoat my, prod, my, uh, my van and when I undercoat the van, um, I have been, and you should use this. Um, this is a very strong formula, but we did just up, update the universal coating from the one system to be more specific to this kind of work, but also to be a lot stronger. So this is gonna take care of you for about one year. Uh, the universal coating uh, option is going to gonna last two plus years. So uh, I, would, I would rely on this if you wanna do it yearly. Uh, and, and save a few bucks because the universal coating is a little bit more expensive. Uh, this is really easy to use. I spray it on with my air injection situation and I'm actually gonna show you that in a different video. This video is explaining to you what you need to use and uh, basically the explanation of how to use it to clean the undercarriage and then protect it. Uh, if you're in a northern state where if you're in a northern state where they put salt on the roads or they do this fancy brine or whatever they're putting on the roads, that's gonna be corrosive to any and all metal that it touches. Uh, aluminum is, it's not gonna rust out like the steel will, but you there's also electrolysis that's involved. There's different types of corrosion that can happen and that does happen. Um, you know, namely the salt water 
that I'll be dipping the van in sometimes, I don't want that to negatively affect uh, my van. I want it to last as long as I can, well, you guys know me, I don't keep vehicles too long anyway. Uh, a couple years is about it, but that van I'm gonna try to keep for a while. It's got 52,000 miles on it now. I put mm, 25,000 miles on it in a year. Uh, and that's using that and my other vehicles I put 25,000 miles on that thing. So um, basically what I'm trying to get at is this pressure washer broom is what you're gonna use to clean the undercarriage. Now, if I can get this connected so that I can show you a demo, we'll be in great shape. Again, hard to do with one hand. All right, so you just wanna get it on there and make sure it seats all the way down. So now, uh, I bought this extension. Uh, it's one, two, three, it's four different pieces. And it's pretty cool. Uh, you can get extensions in different lengths. There's a couple of additional pieces. Um, and then this is just a extension uh, that I could literally just add to the back if I wanted to add that one to it. Uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and do that. Maybe you can see something in a minute. There we go. See, just quick disconnect. So I added that extension. So now look, I've got all of that area I can reach underneath the vehicle. Now that's plenty, plenty of area. And I'm not gonna get it wet, but I am gonna walk it over here and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, because I've already cleaned the undercarriage very well yesterday, and I have to shoot the video of protecting it, I'm just going to show you. So this is the situation and this is, you would just literally back and forth, just like this. I can go all the way to the other side of this thing, past the van with no problem. So this gives me enough to only be on one side of the van and get everything done. You want to do underneath the engine bay? You just take it and push it under there. You want to do underneath the rear. You can definitely take care of that just like so. That's how it works. So all the while you'll be spraying the pressure. So let me show you that. So I said I wasn't going to show you, but I'm going to show you how I use this thing. Get in there. Run it in there under every square inch, back and forth a couple, three times. And that's it. Move it whenever you're ready to move it. Just like so. Again, kind of hard with one hand, but you totally get the gist. Get it all cleaned up. That's it. All right, guys. This thing is really fantastic. I think the water broom or pressure washer broom, whatever you want to call it, I'm pretty sure that thing was 30 bucks on Amazon. And I want to say the extensions, one, two, three, four pieces, that I think was 30 or $35. And then that piece was like 11 extra dollars. Uh, I did not buy this for this particular situation. Uh, I bought it as an extension uh, for something else, but it is an option for extending this whole thing. So with that said, all we've got to do is grab our gun, take the tip off just like that. Now, again, not. I need to get a camera person. I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna start shooting a lot more videos, guys. I mean, you got, if you guys wanna see how I'm doing things, you're gonna get to see it. I'm bringing back the Untold Truth and Detailing series on my YouTube channel. Uh, that was a series a lot of people liked, but I kinda got busy on other things. See, hold on, I gotta put you down. I kinda got busy on other things and it went to the wayside, but 
I got quality help now, which is awesome. And we're literally growing bigger than ever. Uh, got major plans for 2021, mainly uh, the plans entail um, doing more with the, the one system and the marine series, but it's also getting back to simplicity and removing some of the products from the site, not removing them from my lineups, but removing them from detailjuice.com because I'm focusing on just the one system, marine series, off-road lineup, uh, and that's kind of the future. And obviously the original infinite lineup will be there, but look, check this out. You're cleaning, you're cleaning, you're cleaning, you're running, you're cleaning, you're pushing, you're pulling. You're cleaning, you're cleaning. That's what you're doing right here. So anyway, that is how I recommend cleaning the undercarriage. So you'll put that off-road snow foam clean and prep in the reservoir. You'll spray it underneath the undercarriage. You'll let it dwell for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Then you'll literally just take this little setup, go underneath the vehicle and spray it all out. After that, you're gonna wanna let it completely dry uh, you could get in under there with your air compressor and blow it all out to speed up the drying processor process if you want. Um, I recommend spraying underneath there with the air compressor. Now, when you buy the off-road all-surface uh, protectant, uh, it's going to have a sprayer. You can get under there and you can spray it all if you want. You are going to use a little bit more product that way, but the cool part about it is you don't need an air compressor. You don't need any spe special fancy tools or anything like that. You can just use this. This has been proven. Uh, well, let, let's, let me just start by saying when you spray this on, you don't remove it. You don't wipe it in. You literally just let it sit and it will stay like a gel all over everything and the reality is as long as no, there's no salt underneath the vehicle you can really just spray this on it's going to do a very good job i always recommend cleaning first uh, but you don't have to to get decent protection out of this stuff i always would do that if you can though clean it like i'm telling you with this setup and the soap and once it's clean uh, you get it rinsed off, you let it dry, then you can get under there and spray all this everywhere and just let it, let it dry on its own, let it stay. It'll help from, you know, any kind of corrosion that you can imagine, basically. It's going to protect everything. It's going to hydrate your wire casings, uh, your hoses, uh, all the stuff in your in engine bay. It, it, will, it will definitely penetrate that stuff and keep it uh, elast more elastic, give it more elasticity, if you will. Um, more flexibility so that the hoses and wire casings last longer. Um, your brake lines, all that stuff is going to benefit from having this on there. But it's also going to stop corrosion from happening. Uh, if it's already happening, it's going to slow that down and uh, penetrate the rust and keep it from uh, continuing to, to, to form and develop. Uh, but it is a fantastic preventative maintenance product if you want to make sure you don't get that corrosion. So that's the setup right there. And <laughs> short of me actually doing it, I basically just showed you how. It's not complicated. You literally just spray that underneath the van or your the the vehicle, whatever vehicle you're you're trying to do it on, whether you're doing it on a SUV or um, a van or uh, you know a small car doesn't matter. Uh, you can do it all the same way. You can get under there and spray that all surface protectant everywhere to protect. You let it sit and dry on its own. Uh, there's no need to wipe it off. You literally just spray it on. The other great part about this is you can use the same stuff on your paint. So overspray is not a problem. Um, you spray a light mist, you wipe it in and you're done. It's slick as snot, protects very well. It's pretty awesome stuff. Um, so that's it. So that is the pressure washer broom uh, situation that I use for undercarriages. Um, 
that would be the pressure washer that I would recommend to you. Uh, not because it's better than every pressure washer on the planet, but because I own it. I have for two years now. It still works properly. I've had, haven't had any problems. It just works great. Um, I did kind of go towards this one a little bit more because I needed something smaller form factor. Um, it was more of a concern about size than it was about function because this one obviously it's rated at 200 more PSI. I don't necessarily believe that. That seems like it's got more power, but having that soap reservoir is definitely a big deal if you're doing these um, undercarriage deals, which if you're in the north and you don't, if you're even in Florida and you don't do this, I mean, just because of all the boaters out there, let's be serious. If you're not pr protecting your equipment, it is, it is literally going to fall apart on you every time, but it takes time. And it takes neglect really so if you don't rinse if you don't rinse your vehicle off after you've been in salt water or whatever uh, this stuff is going to give you the opportunity to let it go a little bit longer now i never recommend that i recommend always rinse every time it's always a biggest a huge benefit to rinse after you've been in salt water or or whatever but um if and the other thing is that's going to stay on there if you use light pressure so uh if you're using a pressure washer like this uh it's it's not going to completely rinse off if you go and just rinse underneath the uh the vehicle so that's what we're we're doing here and uh, i am going to shoot another video showing you uh exactly how to protect uh the underside of your vehicle if you want to make some money doing that like I said, the all surface protection is an awesome one year option, uh, but the universal coating from uh, the one system uh, is an even better option because it will last a solid two years uh, plus. Uh, and that's been my findings here in Florida uh, in areas where you don't rinse as much or whatever, and you're not using pressure to remove any of this stuff. Uh, it could even last longer, who knows? But this is a great way to keep the corrosion from happening to your vehicle. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. If you've got questions about this setup, let me know. This video was just basically giving you an overview of how I do it and what I use. I'm going to give you more info on hands-on me showing you how to do it uh, in a, a video very soon. So if you guys got questions for me, please let me know. This has been a fast and very effective way uh, to undercoat the undercarriage of a vehicle and give it a whole lot of awesome um, corrosion resistance and protect everything underneath there. I mean, every, nobody thinks about the undercarriage. They all only think about the paint. And uh, that's the problem. Uh, if you're in an issue, if you're in an area where you're dipping your car in the water uh, to launch your boat, or if you're in an area up north where they're brining or salting the roads and you don't want all that crap on your undercarriage rotting out your frame and rotting out your body, then you need to use the off-road all-surface protectant uh, if you're going to do it every year. And if you're going to do it every year, but you want just the maximum protection, universal coating from the One System is the top tier undercarriage coating product so uh let me know if you got any questions check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about all these products all my processes and what i've got going on so thank you so much for listening to me babble and have a wonderful day guys